Hi, everybody. So I am Miss Barbara, and I'm happy to be here with you again to share another story um, for our Unity Church at Austin Sunday School program. I hope that this recording finds you well. School has just started yesterday for my kiddos, so I'm curious if you all have started back to school and how, you, how things are feeling so far, how you're enjoying it. I'd love to ask questions. Are you, are you in the same school that you were in before? Did you start a new school? What was the first day like? Um, it's always a really exciting day at my house. And um, so I hope that if, if you started school yesterday or well, by the time you're hearing this, it would have been probably a week ago. Or if you're starting, if you've already been at it for a couple of weeks, I hope it's going well. And I hope that you know that your Unity Church Sunday school teachers are thinking of you and we love you and just hope all the best for you this school year. So with that, let's get started with our lesson today. Our affirmation, um, I'll read it three times. And if you could say it with me those last couple of times, that would be awesome. Our affirmation today is, as I ask questions and try to understand my heart and mind, stay open. I'll read it two more times. Will you say it with me? As I ask questions and try to understand my heart and mind stay open. Last time. As I ask questions and try to understand, my heart and mind stay open. I found that to be such a beautiful affirmation for right now, it's something that I can um, keep in mind. Also, we can all keep in mind how to keep our hearts and minds open, how to try to seek understanding instead of just getting focused on how we might be different from other people or how you know maybe we don't like certain situations, but how can we try to understand um, and, and keep our hearts and our minds open? It's lovely. So today, um, our lesson today is about how following the path of Jesus can help us experience inner joy. The joy we find within ourselves is there, no matter what outward circumstances are happening. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> but also, like, does it surprise you? You know, even if something, even if, even if you have a flat tire on the way to school, our inner joy is still there. What an awesome thing to remember. But it's tricky, right? how to stay in touch with, how to, how to know that when things are not going the way that we want them to go. So our, our lesson here says it's hidden. Our joy is hidden deep inside and we can forget it's there. Jesus said, it's like a, a little bit like a treasure buried deep in the ground or a beautiful pearl that is hidden in an ordinary oyster. Strong emotions and being busy with life can hide our inner joy, but it's always there, waiting for us to find it again. There are stories in different cultures and traditions that playfully explain how that joy came to be hidden inside of us, and we're going to read one of those stories today. So as soon as I find it, here we go. The creator was very pleased with the world. It was beautiful and full of many different living things. There were oceans and mountains and deserts and forests, tiny creatures like ladybugs and giant creatures like blue whales and flying creatures like golden eagles lived there. And there were people who were now hiking up the mountains and swimming in the lakes and climbing the trees and enjoying all the beauty of the world. The creator noticed how the people immediately got very busy doing things, such as building bridges over the rivers and houses to live in. People were made with lots of energy and curiosity. So they were exploring and experimenting with their new ideas and creating things to play with and tools to work with. In fact, the people were so busy 
the creator was concerned. I can see that people are busy learning and experiencing the world, but they are so busy they may forget. The creator seemed quite worried, so one of the creative assistants tried to help. What is it you think they will forget? The assistant asked. They may forget the truth, the truth that they are always connected to the source of all life, the source of all joy, and peace. They may even forget that there's only one source for all that is, the creator explained. This was a very alarming thought and the assistant jumped up and boldly said, we have to do something. Yes, but we can't just hang up a sign somewhere that says, remember the joy. We need to find a place to put that truth where it is safe and cannot be destroyed or lost or stolen changed. It must also be available to everyone all the time, the creator said. Hide it on a tall mountain, the assistant suggested. Well, not everyone can climb a mountain, and a storm could blow it away, the creator replied. You could put it in the trees, the assistant suggested. That's a good idea, but there are deserts and oceans and other places that have no trees. Besides, trees can die or be cut down. What would happen then, the creator said. The assistant had another idea. Put it where they worship and pray. Put it in a church. The creator smiled and asked, which one? And what about those people who don't go into churches? The assistant was beginning to understand why the creator was worried. There didn't seem to be a good hiding place for this most important truth. They kept trying though, and after a while, the assistant had a long list of possible hiding places that were considered and rejected. The list included at the end of a rainbow, inside a seashell, in the sound of a baby's laugh, in the light of a star, in the power of a waterfall and inside the brilliance of a diamond. But nothing was right. The creative assistant was getting discouraged. What if we gave the truth to just one person and asked them to share it? But what if people don't believe what the person tells them? Every person needs to be able to remember the truth for themselves. Then the creator smiled as a new idea began to come to life. What if each person could have the joy of knowing their connection with the source and keep it with them all the time? What if we hit it deep within the soul of every single person? So even if they forget for a while, they can discover it again at any time. No one could take it away. Nothing could destroy it or change it. It wouldn't matter what was happening on the outside. The joy would always be there on the inside. The creator and the assistant laughed and danced together with happy relief to have found the very best hiding place. Afterwards, the creative assistant rolled up the long list of possible hiding places to file away. The list was full of wonderful things that all were that were all connected to the same source. The assistant slowly unrolled the list. And a thought came, maybe there, could just, maybe there could be just a little hint of joy sprinkled in those places too. So we have a couple of discussion questions here. Have you ever felt the joy that is hiding within you? You know, in the beginning notes for this lesson, um, I thought there was a really neat list was it's set out for the teachers, but I think it's a good list for all of us. It gives examples of ways that we might remind ourselves how to experience the delight and joy of living. And one of them was to play joyful music. And I love that idea. I get a lot of joy from music, from listening to music, from singing along with the radio or um, whatever, however I'm playing music, I love music and it reminds me um, 
what it feels like to be joyful. I just think that was one of my favorites. And there were others here. One of them that I liked was write, be joyful on your to-do list. <laughs> I think I'm going to try that this week. I have nothing else that will make me laugh, you know, um, along the long list of things to get done. And if you're back at school, you probably will have to-do lists too. So you could try writing, be joyful on there. Um, here was another one. When you get into your car, pause for 30 seconds. So I'm assuming somebody might be driving you and you might be a passenger, but you can still pause for 30 seconds and imagine that you'll leave a trail of joy wherever, where's my page, wherever you go. And it asks, what color is your trail of joy? It uses the idea of, getting, of bringing in a flower I think you could even just look at a flower outside or lighting a candle. You know, the other thing that I noticed about our, um, our story was when they were, when the creative assistant and the creator were talking about um, way, places that they might hide joy, a lot of them were nature places, right? Trees and um, mountains and inside a seashell and at the end of a rainbow and in the light of a star and in the power of a waterfall. There is much joy to be found in being inside in nature. For me, and I bet for a lot of you, that's true too. We can always use that as a, an experiment, you know, for needing to find our joy, see if we can go out far outside and be reminded of the joy that is there for us that is inside us and that can be inspired by experiencing the outdoors. So when you feel joyful, do you want to share it? And if so, who do you like to share it with? I do like to share my joyful experiences with my friends, my family, my dog. <laughs> Is right here beside me. Um, I, I would love to hear your ideas, your, who you like to share your joyful experiences with. Sometimes I don't want to share it though. Sometimes, you know, it's just for me. And I think that's just fine. So, so that is our story. And we have just one more little um, thing to do before we close out, before we end our lesson. And it's a, it's a meditation. So if you want to do this with me, um, I, you might just hit pause on the recording and take just a minute to do some stretching, some reaching up into the air, some bend, bending forward and letting your spine stretch. Take some deep breaths. Get your body ready. And let's do this guided visualization together. Just sit straight up in your chair or on the floor, you can sit in crisscross applesauce on the floor and close your eyes if that feels good to you. And let's see if we can just take a moment here to remember our joy inside of us. Imagine a beautiful pearl of joy that you carry inside. You can imagine it in your heart or somewhere in the center of your body. Imagine it glowing with warm light. This is your pearl of joy. No matter what happens on the outside, your pearl of joy is within you. Everyone has a pearl of joy within, but somehow there's hidden deep inside. See your pearl grow larger and brighter. Keep it glowing every day. If you forget about your pearl, you can always remind yourself it is there and imagine it grow, glowing brightly again. Let's just take a moment together here to imagine that bright glow within ourselves. Growing and getting brighter and filling us up And remembering that 
this light, we have this light to share with this world. We have this light inside of us to share with strangers, through a smile, with our parents, our brothers and sisters, our friends. We have this light, so shine this light. Remember that it's there. Remember how very special you are. So I really enjoyed that story, sharing that story with you today. I think that's it for us. I think we can end with our prayer for protection. So when you're ready, the light of God surrounds me. The love of God envelops me power of God protects me, and the presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is, and all is well. So much love to you. Oh, I want to finish with our, um, our blessing. Are you ready? We love you. We bless you. We appreciate you. And we behold the Christ in you. From all your teachers here, we are sending you love. Remember that joy. Have a wonderful school year. And I look forward to sharing another lesson with you soon.